and then it takes us to setting up your credit monitoring account. Now this is really important because we have to be able to access your credit reports so that we can analyze it so the software can determine what needs to be disputed, what might not be 100% accurate, what might not be 100% complete or verifiable. Remember, just because you had a bankruptcy doesn't mean it's reporting properly. Just because you had a repossessed car or collections or late payments or any of those things doesn't mean that it's accurate, complete, or verifiable. So our software looks at it and kind of makes some determinations to determine whether or not um, it might not meet all of that criteria. Okay, So then I'm going to load the password that I used previously just for simplicity so that I'm using the same information from service to service. I'm going to click register here and then it loads up a screen that passes through first name, last name, email, and um, zip code and then also ask whether or not you want the credit monitoring provider which is a third-party service not us to send any special offers from them and their partners to your email I'm gonna leave that unchecked you can do whatever you want to and then on the screen you want to click this yellow button where it says your scores now so I'm clicking that and then it says step one complete and then it we have preloaded from the uh, mobile app the user's first name, last name, address, city, state, zip. I'm comparing just to make sure that all that information still looks correct, and so far it does. I'm looking at the um, email address down here as a user ID, password. It says, is getting your score part of a sweepstakes or free giveaway? That's a common question. I'm just going to say no. I usually recommend that you say no and then click continue and then down here step two confirm uh, privacy security protected okay so I'm going to manually enter re-enter in social security number I'm going to double check it make sure it's perfect because it does not ask me to reconfirm it I'm going to change the birth date okay to match what it's what it actually is and make sure that that is accurate give me just a second to slide down there and I got the month and day and then we're going to choose the year to make sure that this information is accurate and then I'm just gonna look at the screen again make sure everything's okay and it is and then scroll down and click continue and then it's thinking right now and we'll let that cycle through now while we're waiting for that to cycle uh, oh, here it's already done. It is at the authentication screen. Okay, so we've got some verification questions we have to ask. It says, which of the following represents the last four digits of your primary checking account number? Okay, so I'm just putting none of the above, does not apply. And then right here, which of the following people have lived with you in the last 10 years? If there's not a match name, please select none of the above so I am choosing none of the above and then according to our records you graduated from what high school so uh, this gentleman I'm pretty sure that he lived in Pennsylvania and select the county for the address you provided so selecting that county and then I was born in the year of and then submit authentication processing the questions and it says step three is verify it reminds you that checking your credit will not hurt your score it helps find possible errors monitoring will alert you of new accounts so you'll get like alerts from your credit monitoring service there's a lot of value in this as well so now we're going to load in the payment information and I'm tapping in here to get that started and again we're masking out a lot of information as we go through just uh, obviously for personal protection and choosing the card type and then the card number let's get that loaded in here and expiration date Okay, and then the three-digit code that's on the back of your card. And you can use MasterCard, Visa, Discover, American Express. Now this tells you right here 
that you also receive roadside assistance with it, but your monthly membership, this is the only thing that you would pay for unless, uh, if you're not already a pro credit user. If you aren't a pro credit user, the only thing you pay for to use the app is just this, $39.90 per month, and you don't pay any credit repair fees, okay? So I'm gonna click this where it says, I agree and accept, take me to my scores, and it's processing the payment, and then after the payment processes, then it says, welcome to your new credit monitoring membership. Please wait while we process your order. Now, while that's processing, 